Gaffer, not a not a bad second half. That one, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, second half's obviously better. Um, first half, I thought we did some good things. Um, without probably moving the ball fast enough, it was a little bit too slow. Pitch wasn't didn't really help that. Um, it was a bit bobbly. Um, also, I thought crew played quite well first half, especially first 20 minutes, which we expected because you know, they didn't play again the weekend. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Dave's team talk was get at these after our two hours on um, on Saturday. But but yeah, um, a bit frustrated not to be level at least at half time. Obviously, missing the penalty was um, another issue. But yeah, second half the lads come out and were excellent. Um, on on just going in behind at, at half time. You- we had the penalty. We hit the bar. We we were creating chances, weren't there? Did you kind of feel that a goal was going to eventually come for us? Yeah, I did. Said that to the boys at half time. Um, we got into some good positions, just didn't really make the right decision or show enough quality. The penalty, obviously, um, there was a couple of other half chances. Just felt that if we just passed the ball a little bit faster, um, and you know, I'd be a little bit more positive with our play in the second half. Then we would continue to create chances, and, and we did. And then. No, second half we, we scored some good goals you know, their, their goalie made a mistake for one but you know, it could have been more than four in the end I think How made up for Ryan Hardy are you hat-trick today? I think it's the first hat-trick since Ruben Reid against Exeter City which is quite a long yeah. time ago for Argyle don't quote me on that um, but yeah to, to bounce back after of course what happened against Chelsea to get a hat-trick today how made up are you yeah. for him? I'm delighted for him um, a little bit of a discussion really in the hotel before the game about the penalties I said to him look what are you feeling he said it's up to you I wasn't sure whether he was he was ready for it I said if we get one I'll give Adam it and if you know, if you're feeling real confident if you've scored two you can maybe have it but it was early on in the game I think it might have been a bit too much pressure for him but but, you know, as I said on Saturday, Ryan's been one of our best players all season. He's our leading goal scorer. He's got 15 goals now he's got. So, you know, it shows how important he is to us. And we know that he's, he's a good finisher and he's a threat. So, really pleased he got his hat-trick. Um, it's brilliant if it is that landmark that like you've mm. just said about um, you know, the first Argyle player for so long to score one. So, yeah, buzzing for him. Just good that he hasn't got a decent match ball to sign. What's wrong with the match ball? Well, they put a match ball on uh, just before half-time now. We wouldn't even train with it. was like a really old one, so we had to give them one of our balls and then they booted that over the stand. Um, may- maybe that was why uh, the performance was a bit better second half. The ball was half decent. It was one of ours. Um, just finally, to uh, to back up uh, the performance against Chelsea, it wasn't a flash in the pan. What what does that say about this group of players? I've said for a, for a long time, the, the players are doing absolutely amazing, fantastic. Um, they've got great character. They, they all know their jobs and know their roles, and and they're desperate to do well for our for the shirt and for the badge and for the fans. You know, again, another however many under here today, it was it's just incredible, and 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 they can keep saying that they're putting in performances and they're giving it. They're all I can count on one hand how many times we've had bad performances this season. So, so yeah, they've just got to keep going, keep themselves um, grounded, keep working hard, and focus on the next game and see where it takes us.